Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Aurora for X. Between episodes I was forced to build this poor excuse of a gate builder to rescue half of our fleet which we have left stranded in Bonn due to me not having taken a look first if there's any gate leading out of there and there wasn't. In the end the gate was built, but not by our gate builder, but by a gate builder from China it was, I think. But we got out of the system anyway, and now we have a mm, gate builder. But with a speed of 750, it's nothing to really write home about. We continued salvaging the components we gained in Bonn and got missile fire control and a missile reload rate 3 which is nice since one size 1 missile each 10 seconds which is what reload rate 3 will give you is the least I think um, anti-missile missile systems should have and now we have it and are currently um, refitting our Blüchers with the newest components. As you can see up here, we've resolved our world's crisis, mainly due to two factors. First off, we got the additional level of civilian economy researched, and second, and more importantly, the civilian shipping line has finally gotten up to speed with a nice spread of economy ships and um, freighters and the freighters are just doing the short runs between Earth and Luna most of the time sometimes move some trade materials as well which leads to a decent amount of money generated here Taxes on shipping goods, 227% of our overall income. Taxes on exports, roughly the same. Shipping colonists. This is one of the main reasons why I like the civilian freighters, since this enabled us to grow Luna up to 10 million plus people and 10 million plus will lead to additional trade goods being produced on Luna which can be brought back to Earth and so more money is starting to flow into our coffers and this is great. So finally I'm able to put out the stops here and build like crazy. As you might have seen down there, we have finally deciphered the AN language on the runes on burden B4. And it turned out that the Krupp, no, Krupp is the name of my guys, Lambedvr. Okay, Empire of Lambedvr were the original inhabitants. Just seven installations, but this is no big surprise since we knew that it's only small outposts there. In addition, I'm not sure if we already saw this during the last game, but I think so. We found... no, I think I d we didn't see it. We found some new runes on Munich. And this time it's a larger colony, or it's an. What is it exactly? No, display 2. Rune settlement. So, rune settlement should be, or should contain a larger number of installations. Let's see what we get there, and let's hope it's level 4 or level 5, like those runes on Burnham. So finally our construction crews are able to to get started on Berlin. 
Okay, in other news, the wormhole is still in Hamburg. Our second, second by now, carrier task force, no, it's the third one, exactly, the second was trapped and is currently in overhaul. And the third with only six fighter bombers is guarding the gate to Hamburg. I would like to get some additional troops up there soon, but yeah, we'll have to see when we are able to, to really do it. Most important here, as I mentioned before, in my opinion, are the fighter bombers, because most of the other ships, mainly Albin ships, would not really be able to to hit the aliens due to their speed. Okay, with this little update, let's get back into the game and I'll pause again till something interesting is happening. More loot from Bonn has arrived. Most likely those iron drives will still get us no new tech, but oh, I tried. Okay, let's grab those. Those are the engines reserved for our tech, but the Sevis might yield some tech. Oh, let's try to, to open up the window in addition so that we can see what we are actually getting here. Active graph sensor and ECM. Oh, nice. They had ECM on their CVS. Whole slew of tech there. Nice. Yeah, very nice. ECM 1 disassemble. Sensor 14. Disassemble, scrap the eights. And disassembling the sensors. More sensors. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, we should be getting fairly close to a new tech up there. More reload rate, 4 in this case. And those points do add up nicely. Still saving the 14 terminal here. <laughs> Okay, 20 and 60, that's fairly pathetic, but okay. And in the meantime, I'm sending two of our transports back to Bonn. Uh, display, disable the events. Oh, let's do it this way. Oh. That's our fast gate builder moving back. The two transports moving back to Bonn because there's there are quite a couple of wrecks left in Bonn and we want to get those as well. Okay, and pausing again. And our construction units in Berlin recover their first, in, uh, not infrastructure, their first installation, a mine, which is not really helpful due to the abysmal accessibility here, but okay. In addition, our civilian friends launched another freighter and it's, it's a kind of snowballing effect with them. Once they get the economy running, they get more profits and with additional profits they're able to buy additional ships for more profits and more taxes. The only downside to this is more civilian ships will slow down the game. 
in addition we built another carrier and we'll order another one to be built here construction at task and assign our carrier our current training group is led by the Baden due to it it's named CV Baden but let's rename this one and I want it to to appear right at the top of the list so I start with the one here training fleet earth and our new ship split off task group training fleet one well, move to and join and we need a nice commander for it so let's take another a quick look which ships are still in need of a good commander the Baden the Oldenburg and the Eagles 6 to 11 Fregatten Kapitän is too low Contact Remar is our overall leader here the Baden is still training. The Eagle is training as well, but no, let's let's assign the Commodore to the new carrier. It was the Goeben, yeah, exactly. Goeben. And let's have a look whom else we might assign. This one, eleven. Oldenburg is training as well. The Blücher is not training. So, Rocky Weinglass, typical German name, gets assigned to the Eagle Nine. And another break. Ah. No, two things I want to mention before. First of all, our transports reached Bonn. One has already joined the Gaia and the other is sitting at the jump gate. I'll do the split transport thing I did earlier, so as soon as those three wrecks are salvaged, the transport will immediately head back to Earth, while the salvager will start to salvage those three, four, it looks like four remaining wrecks here and then move back to Earth. In addition, mineral situation. Our stock parts look fine, but the accessibility especially of Mercassium is getting fairly low but luckily we have decent mercassium reserves on Mars due to it I started to transport a couple of mines to Mars currently there's a worker shortage so I'm waiting for more colonists to be shipped to Mars before adding more mines but this should solve any mercassium problems we might have here in Seoul and about the other minerals running low. Let's take a look. No, no, I'm I'm not really bothered with what I'm seeing here at the moment. We might I might change my opinion about this later, but at the moment everything's fine and I prefer to mine out Earth first, mostly because the other nations are happily mining Earth as well. Okay, and now we take a break. And in contrast to the last rooms, our team was very fast with uh, taking a look at the rooms on Munich 3. So let's see what they have found. 
Ah, I hate this. Essentially, it looks like whenever a new bunch of colonists arrives on Munich, they get assigned their own yeah, piece, piece of the planet. Most likely because I'm shipping out neutrals here. But since this is bothering me, I tend to just abandon this colony and add those five. Ah, I should close and reopen. Add those five pops manually to the main colony. I'm afraid I'll have to do this over and over again, but I can see no no better solution. Otherwise we get tons of additional Munichs here. I was up to four at a point if I recall correctly. So let's take a look. Tech level two. That's not good. That's essentially our tech level I guess. Maybe even a tad lower. 31 installations, yeah, that's okay. One important thing about the runes, the tech level only matters for the components we can find on the planet. As far as I know, even in tech level 1 runes, you're able to find actual tech or pure research data for much, much higher designs but the components will always be in the range of the tech level indicated here. And I think this is somewhere around iron drives, maybe even a tad lower. Do we have any other colony um, runes? I don't think so. Burden B2 already explored and those rune supplements. No, this should be it. So. Let's take a look. We are training additional construction brigades on Earth, which should be finished fairly soon. And we still should have another troop transport on Earth, which would be able to move... Yeah, exactly. The troops to the new planet, since with just seven installations left on Berlin, a4, it would you know, B4, it would not make a lot of sense to send additional construction units there right now. Okay, pausing again. And while taking a look at the salvager, happily salvaging, I've been asked what I'm actually trying to do in this game and mainly how I plan to deal with the other nations on Earth and essentially I will not attack them. I set up the game with invaders and at 300% bonus to aliens in order to, to have a mm, kinda hard game and destroying the other nations on Earth and taking their labs and factories would be fairly counterproductive to this, since this would be a huge boost to my own research and production cap uh, capability, so I will not do this. I will even try to get very good relations with them and activate tech sharing, which I rarely do in a competitive game against them, since essentially I'm giving them free tech, since they are fairly, fairly bad at researching. I think this is one of the major AI faults in, in my opinion, that the NPRs will not build any additional um, research labs. So most likely they will stuck with the, they will be stuck with the 20 they began with at the end of the game and due to it I'll research for them. So I'll keep having two uh, opponents for the race 
for minerals and interesting planets which are always with me and should weaken me a little bit and that's the way I want to play this game essentially so just trying to fight uh, the non terrestrial aliens here and try to expand into their empires and planets but not into the other nations on earth and pause oh, let's let's take a quick look what the this large Chinese chip uh, ship will yield our graph survey vessel is busy here in Bonn as well and I want to show you this as well we found an additional system and are just ex starting to explore it with our geosurvey craft oh, our construction brigades have been completed and due to the auto sign and no Xeno guys left they got Xeno bonus zero that's not what we want here let's take a look where all the Xeno guys are oh okay a little bit Tet high rank to to command a simple brigade, but that, that's not a real problem, except maybe for his ego. Assign Casino team, construction brigade, construction brigade, construction brigade, construction brigade, arrow, mobile infantry. Nope you will get another construction brigade let's take a look it's always it shows an arrow when you select the first officer in a in a certain rank list there's no problem if you select them directly but if you select their unit there's an arrow don't ask me why nope he will get a construction brigade here third mobile infantry and another construction brigade so let's move the second transport nope, from the shipyard And to load the construction brigade. In addition to mobile infantry. And then you move to Munich A3. Ah, are not all ground units. Okay. Increase shipping bonus. Okay, what do we have here? Missile launchers, ECM, ECCM one uh, engines. Most likely we the transport is either filled up or we were unable to gain some of the loot here since the engines are taking up all the space but maybe we got lucky yeah we might have lost something here so order this transport back to earth unload minerals Unload ship components. And refuel the fleet. And the Gaia will go to... Where is it sitting at? The Carolina. 
China. 72, 73. Okay. Gaia, Vrex, Salvage. 72, 73. South Carolina and Scoots. And I'm pausing again. Ah, another nice one. Information on fuel consumption 0.8 has been provided to us by the United American, still written, written wrongly, states. And since I don't think we've got very good diplomatic relations with them. Nope. We learned this by taking a look at their ships again, like we gained the constructor, gate constructor tech. And since I have activated, exactly, that is Space Master, we can see what ratings are required for trees. So, in order to be friendly, we would need 800. In order to open trade relations, we would need 200. In order to share geo, 800. Research is 6,000. So right at the end of the tree here. And now you might wonder why, with us being at 1,200, we have nothing at all. We should have at least be considered friendly with them and have trade access and should gain geodata but we get nothing of this mainly because this is how we are viewing their race so the Diplo team as far as I know it does two things it lowers their opinion it raises their opinion of us but it raises our opinion of them as well. And the only thing we do know is how much we like them. So don't get too fixated on those numbers here. You don't know exactly how much they like you. Okay, but this tempts me to build new engines to build new engines because as we have seen by our little excursion into Bonn the range of 15 billion kilometers is not much essentially the Blüchers were built for in order to be a system defense force for Seoul. Their 15 billion are perfectly fine, but for potential offensive operations we need better range. And since we don't even have any armor, I don't see very much we can do to to lower the, the weight here and unless stripping of weapons, which is not what I want to do in order to get more fuel, so more fuel efficient engines might be the answer. But I don't really want to retool all of them again. Uh, maybe when we get it, uh, new fire controls, I might do it. Let's take a look how much would a new engine be. Size 10 for those, 600. Not that bad. Not that bad. What are we currently researching? July new construction rate, that's great. File control speed rating in December. New lasers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it will be a long time till we get new reactors and new engines here, especially since both 
other nations on earth are using iron drives as we are so nothing no engine technology can be gained from them the only engine tech we might gain is from the precursors and it pains me to even think about using internal fusion drives in order to get some tech up towards magnetoplasma but maybe in the end I'll do it since sitting on iron for ages is not very helpful as well and sadly our power and propulsion tech or both our power and propulsion techs are, have just fairly low bony so I it might get to the point that I'll use them here. Wormhole still hasn't moved let's take a quick look at Seoul still very busy our transport bringing the salvage back to earth still more than enough available workers Luna still looking good I could actually use more workers on, on Luna but for now I'd like to keep the construction factories here on Earth Mars got some additional workers and infrastructure it seems like working on financial centers uh, okay Hanover could use some infrastructure but I want the civilians or the civilian shipping lines to transport more people to Mars in order to get 10 million people there as well as can be seen by the list I'm not sure exactly where the cutoff points are but essentially the more population that you have the more trade goods they are producing as can be seen by Luna having oh, how many more? 8 versus 12 so 50% more that's not bad and a small colony I think th 3 to 4 million is the first cutoff point is only producing infrastructure and once you get up to I think it's 25 million you are able to produce everything or as can be seen here no the other way around no they're producing everything but still have shortfalls that's it so they're looking for other trade goods mm, another quick look to Munich nothing happening here at the moment and a quick look at the current known star map Nuremberg is a new system we found two nebulas I don't really want to take a, clo a closer look into these until we have exploited all the the other connections this uh, part of the universe is cut off to us anyway due to the wormhole in Hamburg and we are still lacking additional explora exploration craft anyway and since I still try to build up the military and fuel harvesters here it will be some time before we are able to produce additional survey craft I'm building another naval shipyard complex so once this is completed and has been extended a little bit I might be able to build another graph survey ship
but we'll see. And pausing again. And the Gaia returned to the Sol system and downloaded the technical data it had gathered during the salvaging to Earth. In reality, it salvaged some internal fusion drive technology data from the precursors, but since we don't know the... we don't even know magnetoplasma technology, it got downgraded in a way to magnetoplasma research. But what is nice is that we got new active graph sensor strength and I'm very tempted to to use this one. I don't think we were researching it since I was yeah fairly confident that we might get those from the salvages, which turned out to be true. Mm, and I think I want to August required 5,000 points. The question here now is do I want to build a new sensor now? Or do, do I want to wait till the additional sensitivity has been researched? And I think I'll wait for the sensitivity here. I'll add the lab we just produced to the research. Yeah, yeah, I'll wait for now. In addition, we got two new Blüchers here. So let's send them to the training fleet as well. No, oh, still everybody got some training to do. Task group. Fleet, move to and join. Ah, and I've forgotten again where we can steal commanders from. Bangüben, Oldenburg. So we were down to here, I think. Oldenburg. Yeah, we're fast on. No, no way that this guy is needed to sit on in our PDC. And the new ships should be the Gneise now and the Rommel, since only the two of them still have, have their basic crew grades here. So assign this one to the Gneiser now. Did it work? Yep. Seven. Okay, and this one to the Rommel. And I'm not sure if we are able to do it. Continuing capacity expansion. We are able to refit to 1.2, but it's it's not worth it, worth it in my opinion. I want to wait for the new for the new. Give me words. Fire controls. That's it. But I will construct new blüchers. So no refitting, but. Construction. On the other hand, how long till we get the new fire controls? February. Oh, and how long to build a new Blücher? August. August, August, August. Ah. More ships can't hurt, and their refit cost will be lower, and their refit time faster if they have some of the new technology. 
they should have the new <coughs> missiles. Yeah, rate of <coughs> sorry, rate of fire ten. And let's continue pausing again. Now, I just got an interesting message here. Through experience as a pr uh, project leader, Harry Merz has increased his research bonus to 25%. The problem is, no Harry Merz here, and no Harry Merz here as well. So, what should have happened here is that Harry Merz has been researching one of the things we learned or we completed from the salvages or from the tech data the salvager beamed back to Earth. And when this happens, our scientist gets lost into limbo. We have three who are unassigned, so this, this looks good. They should be working, uh, but it's not shown here. But we know we have seen no Harry Merz in our list, so this is what the reset button down here is for to get. Hurry back. So let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We should have eight employed scientists, and none of them are in teams. Yeah, it looks. This looks good. Six, six, seven, eight. Exactly. And there is Harry. And Harry is actually a better researcher than. Hubert Wilken we have here, and we just didn't see him. Most likely he was m uh, working on the missile reroute tech, which we got from the salvages. So it's important to check from time to time if there's any scientist missing here. And I have to admit I would have forgotten it unless for this message down here, but what is nice is that the game seems to have considered him to be still working on his project. So let's reassign him to... what was he researching actually? Yeah, new, new warhead strength. And I think with this little tip and the our invader friends refusing to come out to play, but I think it might be about time. I'm I'm not sure how the invaders are working here, but I think I've never seen them leave the wormhole or spawn a real combat fleet before five years have been have gone by since the stable wormhole appeared, but I think we should be in this time range now, so we'll see. Okay, thank you all for watching, bye bye!